All right, we are on to the third part of this series in an A to Z guide of container homes, whether that's building, purchasing, or renting them. We already finished A through K. Today we're gonna to cover letters L through Q. Let's get right into it. Let's start with L, layouts. Now, here's one thing that I see all over the internet are layouts for different containers where different people will sell you a kit to get a layout of all the things that you wanna build. I have never purchased one of these and I'm very skeptical of anyone selling them. Quite frankly, there are people trying to make a quick buck on these layouts. It can give you great ideas if you're thinking about being a DIYer that yourself or giving it to a builder to do it, but I would be very skeptical about these layouts, people just trying to take advantage of your money by the allure of a container home. So be wary of these layouts unless you have a lot of skills to do them yourself or you've already spoken to a builder who wants you to purchase it for them. So that's one cautionary thing is these layouts may or may not be very useful for you. There's so many stipulations that go into zoning that layouts may or may not work for the place that you live. You may even often have to hire an architect to get it into the, the zoning code that you personally live in before you can actually build it. I would save my money on layouts personally, but it is an option if you have a particular set of skills. You know who you are. Osborne Cox. You know who I am, I know who you are. Perhaps. Appearances can be deceptive. M, M is for mortgages. The one thing that I didn't realize when I was purchasing this is it is exceptionally difficult to get a mortgage for a container home. Whether you're constructing it or purchasing it outright, there's not a lot of traditional lenders who wanna give money to someone who wants to purchase this. I would suggest this heavily. This is a great nugget of truth. Go to a credit union, a local one, that offer different products than a larger, bigger bank lender. I've gone over a couple of them in previous videos, so I could share them in here if you're thinking about building, but that would be only as an investment or very likely to be an investment type of loan because they're at a higher interest rate than other ones. So be mindful of the interest rates that go into some of these lenders. What's cool is often these credit unions will give you a decent rate for a home like this, which is cool. I had to do some work to find a lender, but it was because I was going through an affordable housing program. Give me money, money me. Me a money needing a lot now. I can't do this. Doing great. Uh, that's what's great about this. I was you know, able to, to qualify for something like this, but that isn't always the case for everyone. N, N is for name. I have not named this place, and I would like to be able to have people give input in the comments what would you need in this house? So I'm gonna give you a chance to look at it. I'll give you a kind of a showcase. If you want a deeper look, I have a link in the description or maybe I'll put it on the screen so you can just like take a tour of this place. Look at it and I want you to name it. Put it in the comments so I can follow up, get some recommendations on how to name this. I bought this a few months ago and I kind of want to name the house because it's pretty unique. So help me with that. O. O is for on wheels or on stilts. Some people put containers on wheels so that they are mobile and they don't have the same restrictions. I would not recommend that personally. I would recommend putting it on stilts. Stilts are the cheapest foundation that you can put a container on and they are also generally most likely to fit into code or zoning in most places. Disclaimer completely. I wish there was a ticker I could put on here. Um, I wouldn't put them on wheels. I actually think for the most part, a lot of cities are cracking down on putting, you know, because of the tiny home movement, people are actually stopping folks from doing that. I don't think it's a long-term solution for you and, you know, may cause huge issues down the road if you put them on wheels. P. P is for pros and cons. This is a plug for a video that I have. <coughs> I always choked her my plugs. Nobody chokes me without consent. Tips of the toes, tops of the teeth. There are only a couple pros and cons to this and a lot of nuance to each of the unique things about a container home. I go over it in a video. Please watch it for further details on pros and cons of containers. I'll leave it at that because it's a 15, 10 minute long video of a whole breadth of different stuff. So last one is Q. So if you have questions, please put them in the comments as well. I'm looking for names, but I'm also looking for questions that you have. I'd be happy to answer them. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell if you wanna know more. I wanna keep this content coming and flowing to you. So check us out next time on an episode of Riot Angle.